Hello and welcome to this special report from OTT Wrestling. I'm your host, Angus McAnally, and joining me is Trent Seven and the snake, Sammy D. Gentlemen, we have heard from both of you already today, and I have been briefed that it is my job to yeah, literally been, be between the two of you. So if we can, please keep it respectful and definitely not physical for today. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Trent, I'm going to come to you. You've spoken already about the unity within your team. Four boys who've been through thick and thin together. Guys who forged a relationship on the you, map yeah, together. Yeah, 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 unity. There's no unity. Why do you keep being so... Listen to me, Trent. Alone, unity. Talk. talk about unity. There's no unity. You already came out and said that you want to marry, you want that world championship as much as me. That's not unity. There'll be at a time and a place for that. But on the 27th, the time and the place will be here and you and your mates are going to get smashed. Unity. Well, Sorry. that's okay. I mean, Sam is suggesting there might be a bit of a target on the back for a from you, but you, you're also suggesting that within the draw, this is a team of four solid guys who've been through thick and thin together who will stick together no matter what. You're I, convinced? I can trust the draw. Oh. I can trust my teammates. Can he trust his? Oh, can they trust him is the real question. Absolute rubbish. This is absolute rubbish. You've, just, you've only just had one guy join your crew. He's only just joined in the, in the last couple of months. And quick little name change there. Uh, doesn't suit you. Uh, did, it didn't suit you, I imagine, didn't it? Yeah, everyone has to fall into yeah. your line, don't they? That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. Because your agenda, mate, is to use them boys to get your hands on the title. So you're going at, you're going at me like there's a target for me on, on, on Amari's back. you got exactly the same kind of agenda yourself, mate. OK, well, let's, for a second, if we can, gentlemen, talk about the significance of what's coming down the road. Because, undoubtedly, out the back of this four-on-four war, there's going to be some bragging rights, and arguably there might be an some argument. Some broken noses. Well, that too. <laughs> There's an argument that might put you Some bloodstains on the Ryanair flights back home. Yeah. It's the going to get messy, man. It, well, OK, let's... Will you shut up that angle speak? Gentlemen, please. Ahead of you, Sammy, is a unique opportunity, something that no Irish wrestler has ever accomplished before. On the table for you, should you get the opportunity is the idea to go for the OTT World Championship. And in that situation, if you're victorious, you would become the first Irish wrestler of all time to win OTT Tag Team Gold, OTT GN title, the NLW title, and the OTT World Heavyweight Championship. It's a that lot of is, pressure, a lot of pressure. Pressure, certainly, but an opportunity that's never been presented to anyone else before. What would that mean to you in terms of cementing your legacy, arguably My legacy. as the greatest Irish wrestler ever to do it? Fact of the matter is, Angle, this year I will become the OC World Champion. At the end of the month, when I lay you out in your own back garden, I will be undoubtedly the number one contendership. Well, this is where it gets interesting because, in terms of the stakes here, this four on four match, I think it might give you a little bit of sick pleasure to get in the way of this man achieving his dream, becoming the legend. If there's, he wants if to there's ever been more of a motivation, to smash this kid's face in. It's to ensure that he doesn't get that OTT World Championship. It's not deserved. We know it's not. He's already piggybacked a couple of titles as if he's like, I'm, I'm a, like, what, eight, 900 day tag team champion. Do you know what I mean? Like, I never had my rematch. But, but, all this guy's ever done is bitch and whinge about everything and snake his way into opportunities. And all he's doing now is he's using his three mates to get this opportunity to be the Grand Slam champion. Trent, or you, talk, you, wanna, you talk about you tag, team, at, tag team champ for 900 days. Why was that? Why was it that long? Because Vince wouldn't let you defend them. Oh, wow. Yeah, listen to me. Listen to me. Oh, wow. You call OTT your home. Turn that tail around, huh? Show what's on the other side. You I'm are, you are, the back you are a pro Shut wrestling your whore. Wind your neck. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. Wow. Let's keep it respectful, please, Sammy. If this you is can. unbelievable. General, I want to talk about something that is a significant, a significant factor in this. This show, this card, is called Homecoming. How significant is it for you, Trent, to be back here, the spiritual home? of British wrestling, with your comrades by your side, men who you've you know, trained with, fought with, bled with. This is your chance to show the British wrestling scene exactly who you as still if we, are. As if we needed to prove it. That's the difference, isn't it? But we do, because there's people like him and arseholes like him and his mates that don't actually believe it. You don't, I know that you don't believe it, that's the problem. That's why you can sit there with this arrogance. I know that's why, because you don't actually believe it. You haven't studied it properly. You don't know your history, mate. 
And I'm telling you now, the history of British wrestling will forever read the four names that are going to smash your face in here on the 27th. It's Omari, it's Derice, it's Dan Maloney, and it's me. And I'm telling you now, son, your four mates are going to go home crippled. Crippled. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity mm -hmm. for you, Sammy, to come and spoil the party, the homecoming party for Trent. How much of a multiplier effect does that add to your hunger for this fight? I go, the draw is coming to Wolverhampton. I have his ticket and I will, will leave you lying in your fucking dreams. In your dreams. Gentlemen, in your fucking dreams. let's save it for the ring, please. I intend to get out of here while I still can. January 27th, the hangar, Wolverhampton, the home of British wrestling, the Irish boys, the draw coming on to take on the Wolves. Be there.